Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 8.1, number 65. And here we were talking about an arch that was shaped like a semi-ellipse. Height was 12, span 40 feet. It says find the equation of the ellipse and then use that to find the distance from the center to a point at which the height is six feet. So let's just start to make this graph. Now, if you've ever been in a doorway, or I'm sure we've all been in a doorway, but at some point you've probably been in a doorway where at the top of the door is an arch. And what I mean by that is like you have a door here and then there's an arch above it. That's a really good arch. But that thing is the shape of an ellipse or at least half of an ellipse. So let me draw my arch here as best I can. Ooh, and it went away. I don't know why. Let me redraw it. Okay, something like that. Now, they told us that this height here was 12 feet, and they told us that it in total it spanned 40 feet. So if it spans 40 feet, that means there's a 20 over on this side and technically a negative 20 over on this side. And I'm just going to opt to put my center at the origin. Oops, I did not mean to erase that. I want to put my center at the origin just to make things a little bit nicer for me. Because if we're talking about an ellipse and it centers at the origin, then I don't have the x minus h and the y minus k squared. I mean, I technically do, but h and k are both zero and it just makes my equation a little bit easier. Now I need to find a and b. And when we want to and we want to find a and b because we always want the those two numbers when we're making the equation of an ellipse. So let me show you what I've got so far. I know the distance from the center to one of those like boundary points is 12 and then I know the distance from the center to a different boundary point is 20 and because 20 is larger that's going to be my a value. So I'm seeing here that a is 20 and b is 12. Right? And so when I Think about A and B being 20 and 12 respectively, and I square them, I'm going to get 400 and 144. And I'm putting the larger number under the X variable because this is one of those horizontal ellipses. So we've got all of that going on. And then it says, hey, find out where the height is 6. And let me just erase a couple of things here because it'll this will get a little junked up. So I want you to imagine, let me get rid of Ooh, that was too much to get rid of. Let's see if I can, well, I'll just leave that there for right now. Imagine we had a height of six, All right? I'll put six here. There is some ordered pair here that has a Y coordinate of six and some ordered pair over here that also has a Y coordinate of six. Now you heard me say it, right? The Y coordinate is six. So all, all we need to figure out then is the X coordinate, right? Sounds simple enough, but if I want to get those X coordinates, let's plug in, and let me erase this because it's junked up right now. Let's plug in Y equaling six right here and solve for that X coordinate. So when I plug in Y equaling six, you see I'm putting in six squared. I got a nice fraction. I subtract it to the other side. Right, I multiply top and bottom here by 400 to get rid of those, that fraction. I get x equaling 300. Technically, x is plus or minus 17.32 because this is the ordered pair 17.32 comma 6. And this is the ordered pair negative 17.32 comma 6. So if I needed to go from the origin, I, I needed to go 17.3 units left. Well, let me use a different pen color so you can see it. 17.32 units left and 17.32 units right away from the origin. Now, I, I would argue that you should say the horizontal distance from the center to the point is 17.32 because you still need to travel up these six units. All right, and technically, if I was going to do the distance formula, it would be the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared, that kind of thing, right? And then we would say that this was the square root. Let me go ahead and run this through. This would be 17.32 minus 0 squared plus 6 minus 0 squared, right? And then when I, and I could calculate that number because it's basically the Pythagorean theorem applied to those two coordinates. This is going to be a number greater than 17.32 feet. So that's why I say technically your book should have said the horizontal distance, not just the distance overall, because this number would have been, I'll put, it would have been greater than 17.32 at this point. But that's how your book got the answer. All right. All right. So there's number 65. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.